Here's another question that someone asked. They wanted to know how you figured the length of a roof ridge, and the roof ridge is going to be the board that the rafters connect to, and if it was a, it could actually be a supporting beam, and that would be the rafters would go on top of maybe also. So the length of a roof ridge for a gable roof. This is a gable roof. You can figure it out by simply adding the overhang on each side to the length of the building. We have a one foot six inch overhang on each side, which if we add those together, that'll give us three feet. We add three feet to 30 foot and we have a 30 foot ridge. Now, obviously this one is going to be the easiest one to figure out. Now a hip roof isn't going to be uh, much more difficult to figure out once you know the secret here. So the uh, thing that's going to make this easy for a hip roof is all you need to do to figure the ridge out is subtract the width of the building from the length of the building if you have a rectangle. And uh, of course that would be 10 foot. Now the reasoning behind that is going to be, if you can imagine, the roof ridge is going to be in the center of the building if it is a roof that's built with the same pitch all the way around. If you have a 4 and 12 pitch all the way around the building, this is going to be in the center. And the center of this is going to be 10 foot. We cut uh, 20 foot in half or divided by 2, we have 10 foot. Now, this is going to be the same measurement from here to here as it is from here to here, which this ought to make it easy for you. So if you can just imagine, we got 10 foot here, 10 foot here, we subtract the 20 foot, we have our 10 foot ridge. Now, if we have a situation where we have a gable roof at one end and a we're looking for the ridge length, but it's gonna be coming back into the building here. Now this isn't going to be that difficult to figure out either. Now we have a 12 foot long by 10 foot wide room. Half the distance of the room is going to be 5 foot. All we need to do to figure this ridge height here is add the 12 foot to the 5 foot, half the distance of the span of the room, and then of course the overhang and that'll give us our ridge length. Now this is for a gable roof at one end. Let's go ahead and take a look at it and see what it would be if we had a hip roof. So if we have a hip roof, basically this line right here, the ridge line, is going to be the same distance as the length of the room. So this again, this isn't that complicated. Um, but the understanding, that's what I'm trying to drive home here, is but the basic understanding of how I'm arriving at everything to make it uh, easier to understand. So if we have this here and we are trying to figure out the length at different points, this point from this point here would be half of the span, which would be 5 feet, half of 10 feet. So the distance from here to here on a horizontal plane is going to be five feet. The distance from here to here is going to be five feet. So we would just subtract five feet from 12 feet to get the distance from right here, which of course would be seven feet. And then if you wanted to figure out the distance from here to here, again, this is going to be half of the span. So five feet, five feet, and then, uh, so the, basically the area that you're subtracting here is what you're gonna basically be adding here in a situation like this. So here's what it would look like. The same um, pitch, eight and 12, and the length of the ridge is going to be the same as the length of the building. If we have a gable, then we're gonna have to have the length of the building plus the overhang, and then half of the distance of the, or half of the span or width of the room would simply add to these measurements. And of course, here it is, 18 foot six inches would be the length of the ridge for this situation here.
Now let's go ahead and take a look at two different roof pitches. This is a 3 and 12. This is a 10 and 12. And you can see where the roof ridge is going to be a little shorter because of the two different pitches. Now if I reverse the roof pitches and have a 3 and 12 here and a 10 and 12 pitch here, we can see that the ridge again is going to be a little shorter. Now there probably is a math formula for that, but I am not going to get into that right now. If you need it, you are going to be building something like this, then I will make another video. So that is it for this video, and it is off to the next one.